of how they could approach a potential playoff battle down the road. Oh, well said. Yeah, a peek to what could be a matchup in the playoffs. Absolutely. Now, we'll look go. at Dallas's starting lineup. Out front, it's Finney Smith at the four, with Wood at the five. At the guard positions, it's Doncic and Hardaway Jr. And it's Bullock in at the three spot. And for the Suns, Ball and Booker, the talented backcourt pick. The small and power forwards are Bridges and Johnson. And it's Aiton in at the five spot. And so it's the Suns getting on the board first. Pass to Bullock. Takes the three. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. Ball. To the inside, and Hardaway gets it to go. These are exactly the kind of shots they want to generate each and every time down the floor. Greg, you have to love the impact that Tim Hardaway Jr. has had on the defensive end. He's got a great wingspan to bother shooters and contain penetration. Always aware of where the ball is on the floor. You could call him an underrated defender. Now, Doncic, after Mikel Bridges missing on that last three-pointer. Side Hardaway. Three pointer. No good on the shot. And Phoenix the other way now. Now Paul. Ayton sets the pick for Booker. His three pointer is off the mark. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Doncic with a screen for Hardaway. Inside. Paul with the steal. Johnson at the elbow. And then Johnson with the jam. Chris Paul is always thinking pass first. So good at finding his teammates, especially when they're open. Doncic looking it over. Hardaway is screen on Paul. Here's Finney Smith. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Phoenix is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. The pass to Booker. Dishes it to Aiden. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Well, Devin Booker has really developed his pick and roll game. And let me tell you this. Playing with CP3, that will help. Doncic passes to Finney Smith. Back to Doncic. Loads it up for Wood. Throws down the alley oop slam. Obviously, Wood is in sync with his team. Perfectly timed leap to throw down that finish. Now here's Booker. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Phoenix ball. Puts it up off the inbound, and he lays it up and in. Muscling his way through the contact below the edge that Booker plays with. Hodges with a screen on Booker. Here's Finney Smith. Hodges outside. Off the mark there with the three point shot. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Booker. Eight and a screen on Hardaway. Book again, Phoenix. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. And the question for the Mavs is simple. How do you best build around Luka Doncic? They'll try to answer that in the coming year. Johnson can't hit. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance. Two minutes more in the first. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. For three, Bullock. 
the Mavericks rebound. Back to Hardaway. Fires the three. Booker pulls it in. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. And Greg, it just seems for the Mavs, it's all about finding the right fit for the role play. Yeah, that's why this team was willing to move on from Porzingis. Going forward, you can see them look a lot like the Harden era Rockets. Here's Paul. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. 122 left to play in the first quarter. Hardaway with it. Back to Bullock. Here's the screen. Bucket six. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And that's the way to close. Once Dodgers has this type of look, game over. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone. On defense, Dallas. It's a five-point game. Bang, looking around. McGee with the block. Here's Nilakina. Dinwiddie outside. This one for three. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. And here's Payne. Down low. Sharich. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And how about capitalizing there in close? Sarich has the touch to take advantage from just about anywhere. Dinwiddie outside from deep and that would have counted but he's a shot Mavericks trail by seven on the court for Dallas here in the second they've got JaVale McGee Dwight Powell is out there with Neela Kina and it's Dinwiddie in at the point now here's Dinwiddie he's gotten some minutes but nothing on the board yet Shot clock at five to the middle. It's tipped. It's stolen by Sharks. And they're pushing it up. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. Now, from the step back to his attacking style, some have compared Luka Doncic to the beer, James Harden. There are some similarities, Harden said. Being able to dictate and control the game like he does, he never lets anyone speed him up, and he gets what he wants. Back to you, Kevin. He always has. They're both pretty fun to watch. David, thank you. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. A year ago, he had an 84% success rate on his foul shots, so he was a guy they were always happy to see at the line. That's good from Payne. And you talk to the great ball handlers, and they say, Greg, that footwork is an underappreciated aspect of it. Why is that? It's like a dance. You're eluding the defender mostly with your feet. The, the ball handling part is just making sure the ball comes along for the ride. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Aiton, he's checked in for Sharich. Johnson comes in for Josh Okoge. Mikael Bridges checked in for Torrey Craig. And Paul subbed in for Lee. Now, Greg, a disappointing ending to the playoffs last season, certainly for the Phoenix Suns. Well, came in the top seed in their conference only to make a second-round exit after a grueling Game 7. So this season might be revenge time for this group. Suns leading by nine. Bridges passes to Paul. Eight in a screen on Dinwiddie. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Paul's got his first pass. Even in the later stages of his career, Paul's handles remain incredible. He's got that thing on a string. What a move. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Dinwiddie with it, working on pain. Dinwiddie with the bucket. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. 
pass to Johnson. Back to Paul. Looking for Aiden. He gets it in there. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Aiden's got the lead up to 11 now for Phoenix. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. To the inside. And Doncic throws it down. Slam down by Doncic. A monster in the backcourt at 6 7. Bridges outside. He can't get that one to fall. And it's Dallas the other way. Now, Dinwiddie. This is it to Finney Smith. Fires for three. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. The Suns making the switch here. Booker's checked in. Then for the Mavericks. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dwight Powell. Reggie Bullock comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Dinwiddie. Johnson with a screen on Hardaway. Here's Booker. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. Make no mistake, Devin Booker is a shooter. If he sees a chance, he is going to take it. And looking back to Devin Booker in that 2015 draft, this guy went 13th overall. Tim what a steal. Here. Plus, Book was the fourth ball. guy taken from his own college. I think that put a giant chip on his shoulder. Fueled Devin to the all-star he is today. And here is Bridges. After Tim Hardaway made that last three-pointer. Bridges outside. Bucket is good. Bridges has got five points so far. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Now, here's Doncic. And they double up Doncic. Down to five on the shot clock. Sinks the triple. Reggie Bull. And the all-around game of Doncic. Not just a scorer, but a great dime dropper as well. Notices his open teammates. Quickly. Here's Booker. He's got six. Now here's a Johnson. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic has got four rebounds now tonight. 149 left in the second quarter. Wood with the screen for Hardaway. No good from outside. Suns lead by seven. Here's Booker. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got five rebounds tonight. Wood at the elbow. Back to Doncic. And here's Bullock from the arc. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Three-point field goal. Doncic has got four assists in the game. Aiton up top. Booker against Hardaway. Paul outside. Takes it from 10. Here's Aiton. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. He has six. And using that 7-5 wingspan, putting it back off the miss. One of Aiton's specials. From deep, Wood. Booker pulls it in. For Phoenix, they've gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Pass to Paul. We've got 33 seconds left in the first half. Aiton sets the pick for Bridget. Looking for Aiton, he gets it in there. Count that one. And now an eight-point Suns lead. And a strong showing of physical strength there from Aiden. Defenders have their hands full when he's around the rim. All against Doncic. Outside Hardaway. A three-pointer off the mark. And so it's the Phoenix Suns holding on to an eight-point lead and a contribution so far in this one. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, let's just say his success will continue. 
the small and power forwards are Bridges and Johnson. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. And it's Aiton in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the five to begin the second half for Monty Williams. Well, guys, look, the Phoenix Suns ended the regular season on a high note last year. They finished first in the Western Conference, a feat they had accomplished in a bit of time. And the shot Luka is good. Doncic. The Phoenix lead has been cut to just five points on the basket from Luka Doncic. And when Luka finds an opening on the perimeter, he does not hesitate. Great focus on that triple. Bridges passes to Aiton. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. In 2004, the Phoenix Suns clinched the top spot in the Western Conference, and they're about ready to do it again. Yeah, and that was the Steve Nash and Laurie Stoudemire days, and that was practically mm. two decades ago. But the Suns have earned this top Tim spot. They've been putting in the hard work with this young core and grinding out all these games. Is that seven seconds or less? Yes, sir. And here's Booker after Tim Hardaway made that last three-pointer. And they'll get another chance. Aiton, the pass to Booker. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. The thing about Booker is he really has an off night. He's one of the most consistent the shooters in the league. The Suns hitting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And as a team, excellent. A season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. The first one falls. The Mavericks GA have been trying to tighten up their defense the past few seasons, and it's beginning to show. And we're seeing signs that the players are getting the message, that they're spending more energy at that end of the floor, and that's essential for any elite team. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. JaVale McGee comes in for Christian Wood, and Dinwiddie subbed in for Doncic. Both free throws good from Booker. Talking about a franchise that has done a complete 180, look no further than the Phoenix Suns. Before 2021, they hadn't even been to the playoffs in 10 years. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Now here's Paul. And there's the pass to Bridges. And again, it's the Suns missing. In just four seasons, Phoenix Gregg went from last in the conference to the best record in the entire NBA. It's been an unbelievable score. And there's a lot of talent on this team, not to mention a great coach in Monty Williams. The future is bright for this franchise. Now Paul, after Tim Hardaway missed from long range. Aiton sets the pick for Paul. The 11-footer, and the Suns miss again. Average trail by four. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Back to Dinwiddie. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Phoenix, Phoenix calls timeout. Keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. It's stolen. Neely Kina looking it over. For the tie. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. The Suns leading. Lee outside. On the wing, Bridges. From outside the arc, rebounded by McGee. I'm shocked that it didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Nilekina, that misses, had a chance to tie it there. Phoenix has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Payne with it. Pass to Johnson. To end the drought. Phoenix, no good that time either. Here's Neil Aquino, covered by Lee. 
Dinwiddie left side. Back to McGee. That one falls coming the off Dinwiddie's McGee. feet. McGee's got the game tied up here for the man. And Spencer Dinwiddie has always been a great scorer, being used off the bench more and more. He has a great game to be a sixth man. It's good. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. Dinwiddie outside. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. With Dinwiddie off the bench, he will always provide offense and ball handling. A great point, Kevin. He can set up others, but usually looks for his own shot. Can be streaky at times with it, but when he gets it going, he can win you a game by himself. Just enough resistance to force him as barely. That's one he'll generally make. Here's Mila Kina. Gets it to go from right, beyond the arc. Mila Kina's got the lead up to one now for Dallas. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Shoots it. The shot by Charge. No good. So it's Mila Kina who brings up the ball for the Mavericks. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second Nilekina. half. So explosive moving towards the basket. Nilakina is terrific at getting into the lane. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. Now here's Payne. Tight defense on him. He kicks it to Sharge. Five to shoot. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. And a talented swingman. Bridges is someone to keep an eye on as he continues Nick to round out his game. For Phoenix, they have looked good at the line. They're perfect in four attempts. And that one falls for Bridges. He hits both from the strike. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Here's Doncic. No good from 11 feet. Three quarters of play and a close game here. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. At the guard positions, it's Doncic and Hardaway Jr. Maxi Kleba is out there with Wood, and it's Bertin is in at the small four. A pretty free look for three-point range. The D forgot about him on that possession. Big three right there, especially at this point in the game. Now here is Hardaway. Here's Doncic. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Hardaway has got three assists in the game. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. I, I just admire the instinct that Aiden has. Seems to know exactly where to be when the shot goes up. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Phoenix. And the Suns making a change here. Booker's checked in. The Mavericks also with a sub. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Maxi Kleba. The young big men, though, often struggle to find consistency, but you look at Aiden's first four seasons, the numbers are almost identical year to year. Now here's Hardaway. Doncic outside. Woolen with the screen for Doncic. Some solid defense from Aiton. And for Aiton, the numbers are impressive indeed, averaging a double-double every season.
And he's got all the tools, next steps, making more plays for others. And they've been working on his shooting range to open up the lane a bit more. Now Hardaway after Devin Booker missing on that last three-pointer. Here's Doncic. Makes good on the step-back jumper. Well, Luka has options all over the floor. He's a versatile shooter who can utilize the mid-range. Shamit finds a seven-foot shot. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Hard away against Booker. Doncic right side. From deep three-point range. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Doncic. Johnson, he's checked in for Torrey Craig. Dwight Powell's checked in for Dallas. Torrey and Vinny Smith comes in for Davis Bertans. And Phoenix has possession. They've led by as many as 11 points. Eight and a screen on Doncic. And that one's good, Aiton. Aiton's got seven points for the quarter. And the all-around offensive game Aiton has is just fantastic. Capable of scoring in many different ways. Now, here's Doncic. No good on that one. Suns lean by five. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Ball passes to Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. Impressive at using the pick and roll. Aiton slips well to the basket after setting that screen. Average trail by seven. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, they're off has ground Hardaway for three a new 14 for the Mavericks Bullock passes to Hardaway just five to shoot the three for Doncic. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. How about the poise from Doncic right there? He ups the ante when it's a critical possession here in the game. Now here's Paul. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Chris Paul picks up that one. And so confident. Even amongst the trees, Doncic is fantastic at forcing the issue close to the rim. Shooting two. Free throw good from Doncic. And it feels like Doncic has risen to stardom so fast. His drive to be an all-time great is very evident. Cameron Payne's checked in for the Suns. Wood, he's checked in for Dallas. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And in a close game like this, they can really rely on him to take care of business. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. They've led by as many as 11 points. Mavericks with the rebound. Doncic has got six rebounds now in the game. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. And it's all evened up. And already in his career, Doncic displays a remarkable amount of pro moves, including that floater right there. Now here's Booker. 146 left in the game. And again, it's the Suns missing. Gotta find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not gonna get it. 
Oh, here's Doncic. Payne covering. A miss that time. Would have put him up. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And here's Booker from the arc. Carries it from three-point range. I see. in his veins. This guy he lives for these moments. Now, here's Doncic. Wood sets a screen. And they double up Doncic. Outside Hardaway. Pocket four. For the three. Kept alive. Wood kicks to Bullock. Finney Smith passes to Hardaway. From the arc, good! A tremendous three to tie it up. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. 13 feet away. Johnson, wide open, he fires. And it's off from three-point range. All the Mavericks with it to the paint. Money! Man, that's a big this shot for Wood when they... Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Booker. Aiton trying to break free. Got it. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Doncic. From deep. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but he didn't get the ball. And regulation now complete. He will go to overtime. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. And here is Paul. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. The small and power forwards are Bridges and Johnson. And it's Aiton in at the five. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing to fall. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. A great disruptor of the basketball. Luka taking matters into his own hands tonight. Great to see him play like this. Now, here's Bridges. Ball left side. Shoots over Doncic. And Paul gets it to go in. Paul's got it all tied up now for Phoenix. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting 43% for the game. Wood a screen on Paul. The three for Doncic. Rebound by the Suns. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. The way against Brooklyn. Aiton is screen on Hardaway. Look at the pass to Aiton. Shot clock at six. Doncic with the steal. To the middle, Hardaway. And then Hardaway with the dunk. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Now here's Booker. Over Hardaway. And the Suns take on two more. When they need points, they do everything possible to get Booker his touches. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. Loads it up for Wood. Doncic finds Wood. And it's Bullock in the corner. Traps in the tray. Bullock's three got the lead up to three now for the man. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Here's Booker. Great D that time from Holloway. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be 
because he is so strong in the paint. And here's Bullock from the arc. It doesn't go for him. The Suns go the other way with it. But a big possession right here. No doubt about it, guys. The tension is power. Booker against Hardaway. Booker dishes to Ayton. The shot, no good. Good team by Hardaway. And now we've got the intentional foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's Hardaway. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Dallas. Tim Hardaway Jr. Two shots. and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second one is good. They both at the line. It's a five-point game. Well, they win. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Payton finds Booker. Here's Johnson, a three, yes, and he has brought them to within two points. Unsurprisingly savvy pass by Booker, setting another guy up for success instead of forcing a shot. And now they foul and stop the clock. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those five seconds away. Shooting for Dallas, Luka Doncic taking two shots. the first and that makes it a three-point lead and you'd rather not foul Doncic here because he loves getting to the line and delivering he's off on the free throw unable to get that second one to drop in timeout called the Suns and here's Bridges he'll bring it up for the Suns and Booker kicks to Bridges. No good from three-point territory. And they stop the clock and as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Fourteen foul. At the line for the Mavericks. Dorian Finney-Smith. Two shots. Gives them a four point cushion. And he is unable to get the second one. For three, Booker, no good. So a close game sees Dallas taking this. That's the they end had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came on in the extra period. What a ride. I mean, I, I thought it might end in regulation, but you know what? They came through big and did exactly what was necessary once we got into OT. And now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Here with Luca. We got the W, so what did you think about your performance? You know, we got to win against a team that's very competitive. You know, they go hard uh, no matter what. You know, they're a great team. And, you know, I'm just glad we got to win. And we got to keep going like that. Hey, man, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. And now our New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic.